Okay, this is a Samsung PN58C550 Plasma TV. Um, there is a very common problem with the Samsung Plasma TVs. Maybe many of the Plasma TVs, I don't know. But uh, after a while, you lose the pictures. There is still sound, but there is no picture. Uh, it looks like plasma screen doesn't kick in. But TV itself thinks that uh, it's on and it's working. So when you make a search on Google or YouTube, you see that there are lots of comments. And uh, very common problem with these TVs are uh, the uh, non-functioning or broken capacitors, electrolyte capacitors. And primarily, uh, those capacitors are either in the power supply unit or Y main or, or maybe in X main so it happened to this TV too uh, this is uh, but let me describe the problem briefly uh, it happened like you know you turn on the TV the picture doesn't come and I try turning on and off from the remote like maybe five minutes or so and then the picture came the next day it took more than you know 10 minutes to get the picture you know again turn on and off on and off and the next day is longer and it was getting difficult and more difficult and difficult and at the end I spent like maybe more than 30 minutes to turn it on and at that point I just kept the TV on maybe four or five months it was on all the time so and the picture was okay everything is fine and then I have a power outage and then of course the TV turn off and then <laughs> there is no way that you can turn on at least uh, get the picture again so I, I ended up uh, opening you know disassembling the TV from wall and then I open the back and I check for this non-functioning capacitors usually uh, it's a visual thing that you know there's you see a bulge on the top caps like here here or here but uh, I couldn't see any. I mean, this is the power supply unit. This is Y main. This is X main. And this is X buffers. And this is Y scan, as far as I know. This is a logic unit and this is the tuner. So, initially, if you have such an issue, you check the. I mean, if TV doesn't turn on at all or that kind of thing, you check the fuses and stuff. You check the fuses again anyway. Uh, but I, you know, the, the first suspicious unit is power supply unit. I didn't see anything. Y main, I didn't see any bulging or anything. X main, uh, same, I didn't see. And sometimes it is... I'm sorry. Sometimes it is uh, not really visual, capacitor is not functioning, but still, you know, there's no bulge. I was thinking to buy some, you know, they sell capacitors, set of capacitors, I don't know, it depends on the TV also, but it's a, probably the cheapest solution, but also risky solution in my opinion. And then I found out that they sell these individual units, units used on eBay from uh, crack screen TVs during the shipment or whatever so I was thinking to buy a power supply unit but while doing search I found other options that some sellers they sell the whole electronic components I mean usually this power supply unit sells around $70 and this is like another $30, $50 and it goes like that but in that particular selection one seller was sale selling everything on the board even this you know power uh, plug unit everything for $100 plus $30 shipping so $130 so I said you know let's go for it because if this is not broken I have to end up buying this and this and it will take forever so that's what I did and I replaced this these are all replaced units by the way I mean I you know I didn't show I don't show you the old ones but they are you know okay looks okay I changed this unit it didn't work and then I changed Y main unit as it is suggested 
uh, and yeah, no picture. And then uh, it was easy, so I end up changing the Y scan units. It didn't make any difference. And also, whenever I remove a unit with a printed board circuit, I look some color uh, discoloration or color changes. Because usually, if you have something like that, it's it's an indication that there is something you know overheating in that region that maybe guide you or, or give you some clues with the you know, non-functional portion uh, and then I changed the X main unit same result uh, the buffer unit is same result so I was losing hope because I changed almost everything uh, and as, again I was thinking it is probably related to bad cap or you know bad capacitors and then the last resort I changed this 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 is a logic unit uh, I changed this one and it worked so this is a logic unit that uh, as far as I understand it controls everything in, uh, in the TV so it gives command to you know there's a connection to Y main X main it gets connection from from tuner <coughs> of course it gets power is power from from power supply unit and there is also Y buffer here everything and maybe the problem in my case was because this TV, you know this logic unit function is critical especially in the startup when you power your TV on maybe there was a power on trouble with a problem with the power on sequence uh, uh, originating from this logic unit so it wasn't a bad cap issue at all so as far as I see when you google uh, or search this uh, no screen no picture issue on plasma TVs uh, many of the results are almost all results are related to bad capacitors but as you see it wasn't the case in this particular you know my, on my TV so I thought maybe you know I just made a, make a video and let you guys know that it doesn't have to be capacitors maybe it's something else this is the logic unit it was the case and I think I did the right choice by buying the whole electronic parts otherwise maybe I would just give up on this TV and you know just put it in trash so anyway, I hope you guys find this video helpful. Thank you.